This video is for educational purposes only. Do not use these methods for illegal activities. They tell you your phone is private, a black box for your secrets. But every connection is a thread, and threads can be pulled. Let's unravel the illusion of anonymity and see the architecture of the digital prison you live in. It all starts with a number, 10 digits, seemingly random, but it's a breadcrumb in the digital forest. Reverse phone lookup services scrape public data, data brokers, and forgotten corners of the internet. Paste the number, hit search, and watch as names, addresses, and fragments of a life surface. Don't rely on one service, cross-reference everything. One site gives you a name, another an old address. Each is a clue. A name leads to social media. An address leads to public records. The first result is rarely the full picture. It's just the first thread. Be patient, be methodical. These services are designed for convenience, but their true power is in interpretation. They sell you information, but you're really buying a starting point. The illusion is privacy. The reality is your data is for sale. Data brokers package and sell your life every day. A reverse lookup is just a storefront for this data. It shows how easily your identity unravels from a single number. This is the first step in peeling back digital anonymity. The data can be old or inaccurate. People move, change numbers, create false identities. That's why this is only the beginning. You're not looking for a definitive answer, but for leads. You're gathering puzzle pieces. The real work is assembling and verifying them. This step is about establishing a baseline for your investigation. Every piece of data is a potential lead. The more you cross-reference, the clearer the picture becomes. The digital echo is just the start. Let's keep pulling the thread. People crave connection, so they build digital shrines, social media profiles, offering up their lives for likes. They tie it all together with their phone number, making it easy for investigators. Take the number and search the giants, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Use find friends or password reset features. Sometimes you'll see a profile picture or a redacted name. Suddenly you have a face, a name, a link. Check friends, followers, and connections. These are maps of real-world relationships. Photos reveal backgrounds, locations, and other people. Every image is a data point. The system exploits the need to be seen, encouraging oversharing and gamifying life. Social media search is about connecting dots they've left scattered everywhere. The vulnerability is human, the opportunity is yours. Google isn't just a search engine, it's the world's largest, most detailed public database. Most people scratch the surface, but you can dig deeper with Google dorking. Use quotation marks for exact number searches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Try different formats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Combine with site to search specific websites or file type PDF to find documents. You might uncover resumes, directories, or legal docs indexed by Google. Think creatively. Numbers appear in contact lists, forum signatures, ads. Combine with usernames or emails you found. Each query is a net, catching different types of information. Google's mission is to index everything. Resumes, forum posts, spreadsheets. You just need the right incantation to summon it. This isn't hacking. It's mastering the system's own logic. Dorking reveals what most people overlook. The information is there, waiting for someone who knows how to ask. Google vacuums up everything. Use it to your advantage. The right search can reveal forgotten digital footprints. Every result is a potential lead. The more specific your query, the better your results. Google dorking is about precision and creativity. The digital haystack is vast, but the needles are there. Master the search, and you master the machine. The ghost in the machine is you. Messaging apps promise privacy, but profiles and metadata are gold mines. Save the number to your contacts, then open WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal. If the number is registered, you'll see a profile, maybe a face, a username, a status. Profile pictures can be used for reverse image searches. Usernames often match those on other platforms. Status messages, bios, and last seen times offer behavioral clues. Telegram sometimes shows past profile pictures, a visual history. You can gather intelligence without ever sending a message. You're a ghost, observing through a one-way mirror. Encryption protects the content, but not the identity. These apps are tools for identification, not just communication. 
Check if the number is active when they're online and what they reveal in their profile. Every detail is a clue. Messaging apps are silent windows into private worlds. You're gathering data, quietly and invisibly. Companies get breached, spilling personal data into the wild. Use sites like Have I Been Pwned to check if a number or email appears in breaches. You're not after passwords, just context. Each breach reveals online activities, interests, and history. Sometimes you'll find usernames, real names, even addresses. Use breach data to corroborate other findings or open new leads. Old forum usernames can unlock profiles elsewhere. Data breaches map a person's forgotten digital life. The skeletons in the closet tell their own story. Caller ID apps like True Caller crowdsource global phone directories. When people install them, they upload their contact lists, feeding the machine. Search a number and see what others have labeled it. John Smith, Pizza Place, Scammer. These labels provide context, profession, relationships. It's raw, human-generated intelligence. Outliers and unique identifiers are gold. The info can be outdated or wrong, but even false names are data points. Always verify, but use these apps for quick context. Caller ID apps reveal how a number is perceived by the crowd. It's a social fingerprint built from millions of contact lists. The power is in the aggregation. Use it to unmask the unknown. The digital world is fleeting, but public records are concrete. Phone numbers often appear in property records, business registrations, court documents, and licenses. Many databases are online. Search by name and location. A number might show up on a business license or a public contact sheet. Property records confirm addresses. Voter files reveal affiliations. Court records can include contact info. Each record adds a layer to the profile. These are hard data points, less prone to error. The process is slow, but the information is reliable. Public records are the bedrock of any solid investigation. Not all numbers are equal. VoIP numbers exist only in the cloud. Use carrier lookup tools to see if a number is VoIP. Providers like Bandwidth, Envoy, or Twilio are red flags. VoIP numbers aren't tied to locations, they're digital ghosts. The area code means nothing. The user could be anywhere. VoIP users are often more tech savvy or privacy conscious. Traditional tracking won't work. Focus on digital footprints. VoIP numbers are usually linked to emails. Find that link. The number is a mask. Your job is to find the digital fingerprints. Adjust your strategy when you spot a VoIP number. Every number belongs to a carrier, Verizon, T-Mobile, Vodafone, or a VoIP provider. Use carrier lookup tools to identify the network. This helps you filter searches and sometimes hints at original location. Carrier choice can reveal socioeconomic clues. It helps you separate mobile, landline, and VoIP numbers. Add the carrier to your file, it's a verified detail. Investigations are built on details. Don't skip the basics. The network's veins reveal more than you think. Sometimes the number is in an image, a screenshot, a business card, or ad. Use reverse image search engines like Google Images, Tineye, or Yandex. Upload the image and find where else it appears online. You might connect with other victims or link the number to a business. People reuse images across platforms, trace their digital trail. Visual data is often overlooked, but it's powerful. Reverse image search turns pictures into new leads. Think outside the text box. Images hold secrets too. 10 methods, one thread, watch a digital identity unravel. This isn't secret hacker magic, it's about connecting what's already out there. The illusion of privacy is fragile. Use this knowledge responsibly, protect yourself and others. Don't become what you're fighting against. Information is the new currency. Learn to read the code. This is just the beginning. There's always more to learn. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and never trust the surface. The rabbit hole goes deeper than you think. Subscribe to CyberNexia for more cyber intelligence content.